Hello everyone and happy Rainbow Family Day. My name is Edwin from Edwin Creates. I'm a visual artist and an art educator and today I'll be guiding you through a fun and easy project that you can do at home. We'll be creating this beautiful rainbow. It's a mixed media project which means that I use a different material for each section of the rainbow. In terms of materials you're going to need a piece of cardboard, a marker, you're going to need school glue and hot glue. You're also going to need scissors and a ruler. In terms of materials for the rainbow, you don't necessarily need to use exactly what I use. You can go around your house and collect materials that are going to work for the project. Maybe you want to use crayons, maybe paint, color pencils, uh, markers, maybe something else. Maybe you want to use newspaper, magazines, tissue paper. For my rainbow, I use red buttons, orange fabric, yellow construction paper, green feathers, blue glitter, and purple pipe cleaners. To add final details to your project, I use cotton balls, ribbon, foamy, and baby blue glitter. But if you don't have those items at home, you can change them. Now, before you begin, remember, protect your area with maybe newspaper, paper, or a tablecloth. And very important, safety first. We'll be using scissors, hot glue, and glitter. So have an adult next to you supervising the process at all times. If you feel that you're falling behind, remember that you can always pause the video, keep working, catch up, and press play again to continue with the project. Now go, get all your materials ready, let's start. I have my piece of cardboard. And step one would be finding something circular to help you out create the arches of the rainbow. You can start with a plate, something like this, you position it, and then with your marker, go around and create your arch. See, once you do that, can use maybe a smaller one, position it, and you create your arch. You can use cups, maybe a tray, whatever you have available at the house to create all your arches. So once you create all your arches on your cardboard, it's going to look something like this. You want to make sure that you have six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because we're going to be using red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Okay? So make sure that you find different sizes. Or you can even do it by hand. Once you have all your spaces and all your arches, we're going to cut it out. If it's too hard for you to cut out the cardboard, have a grown-up help you. Once we cut it out, it's going to look something like this. Now we're ready to start decorating. I'm going to start with purple over here. I'm going to use pipe cleaners. And what I'm going to do is do like a really cool zigzag for the purple. And I can start positioning my purple over here. Okay. For my next color, I'm going to use a little bit of glitter. I'm going to, I'll be using some glitter. Okay. So what I want to do, I want to cover this whole thing with school glue. I'll be covering with school glue and then I'll be putting some glitter on top. Okay. So this is color number two. Now I'll be using my finger to make sure Everything looks nice and even. I'm going to use a paper plate to remove the excess. For my next step, I'll be using feathers. I'll be using feathers, so very carefully, I'm going to start adding some hot glue.
My next color will be yellow. I have a lot of different squares. I'll be using this construction paper to cover my next layer. So now I have my, I have orange fabric. You can use orange fabric, belt, maybe orange tissue paper. Cool, and now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna use my hot glue. So you can like crumble it like this. So it has some texture. Now for my last layer, I'll be using buttons. I'll be using these red buttons that I had here. I'll be placing them like so to complete the red layer of the rainbow, okay? So now we're gonna cut out the raindrops. They're gonna look something like this and it's very, very simple, guys. I have my foam and I'm gonna cut out my raindrops, okay? But you can cut this out, um, maybe cardboard, maybe um, cardstock. Oh, it looks so cute. So I'm gonna put my raindrops here, in here. I added some school glue to my raindrops and now I am spreading it out, making sure that it's covering the entire surface of the raindrop. I'm gonna add like this baby blue glitter. So now I'll be gluing some ribbon. So maybe three and three. So let me cut it out. You can use different lengths. And I'll be gluing the ribbon over here because I'm gonna be covering this with cotton ball. So it's not gonna show and it's gonna be easier for us to glue it. So now, Using my hot glue, I'm gonna glue the raindrop on the ribbon. So I'll add like, I'll add a line of hot glue here. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we'll be creating the clouds with the cotton balls. Very, very simple step. We're gonna start adding, I'm gonna use my hot glue and I'm gonna start adding some cotton balls down here. I'm gonna cut a piece of the ribbon, gonna glue it this way and make a loop so we can put it on the wall. And there you have it, a beautiful rainbow out of many, many things from the house. That's it. I hope you had a lot of fun creating this project. I had a phenomenal time doing it. Now, we want to see your work. On the comments below, post a picture of your project or use the hashtag Rainbow Family State. Again, I am Edwin from Edwin Creates. And if you want to see more projects like this one, you can find it on my Facebook or Instagram page under the same name, Edwin Creates. Thank you so much for joining us today. Mwah. Love you all.